so um, welcome back to uh, FESPA TV, talking about printed electronics today. Really pleased to be joined by Kate Stone, CEO of Novalia. Um, Kate, welcome to FESPA TV. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about Novalia, um, how long you, you've been uh, in the, the printed electronics space? Uh, to start with? Okay, so I started out um, in print electronics with, with Novalia about eight years ago. I started out on my own mm -hmm. and sort of with a vision to make print interactive and to explore what printing process can do if we add a bit of electronics to it. Some of the work that you were showing was, was really quite graphically appealing. Um, can you tell us a little bit about um, a couple of the examples, maybe the, the birthday card and, and how you're trying to marry that design with the, the functionality, if you like? Yeah, so the idea was to, um, to allow the artwork to become the circuit because a circuit is normally, like you say, a sort of straight lines or you know rectangles, corners but they're only like that because they're hidden away in a box and don't have to do anything. But if the circuit could become the artwork, then it, it itself can become a piece of art. So we've made circuits where we, cr we create a piece of art and we let the circuit find its way through the artwork and then make that piece of artwork interactive. You also touched on packaging, and, mm -hmm. and obviously that's um, quite a, a commercial application, one would think. Um, it, where are you seeing sort of interest in, in terms of applying this and, and, and what, what's, the, what's the future for it, if you like? Okay, so I guess there's a couple, there's two different sorts. I mean, one is kind of functional, so the packaging does something useful that helps people. So, um, like, there's a medication pack that I spoke about that um, reminds people when to take the medication and monitors when they've taken it. So that's fairly functional. I mean, you could have something that maybe reads you instructions in different languages. So that's kind of the functional side. And then I guess there's what you might call the, f the frivolous side. So something that's fun. So we spoke about um, a, f um, a cookie carton that becomes a fire truck and you touch different points and you play with it. So you could have a carton that you play games with. And then it's really about blurring that boundary between what would have been a carton that's just thrown away when the product's been opened but maybe it's something that's functional afterwards so it becomes a toy or becomes a reminder or maybe it becomes a dose calculator or, or, or something like that but it's not seeing it just as a box that's there to hold something and then throwing it away it's 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 part of the whole user experience Excellent. And um, what next for Navalia? Where's, where's your focus at the moment, without giving away the, the secret sauce or the company <laughs> strategy, but where, where's, where's the, the focus for you guys going forward? It's all about partnering. So it's about putting our technology into a platform. And what's really important about that platform is that people can manufacture with it and people can design with it. So then we can partner with people and we can use that platform to become whatever another company wants it to be. We don't want to create our own products because we don't know what makes a great end user product. We don't know how to get a product and ship it all over the world um, and other companies do and what we want to do is let our technology add value to their products and so together we can make some really exciting pro products. Fantastic and just in, in closing how can people uh, contact you? What's your, what's your website address? So the website is www.novalia.co.uk Fantastic. Well, Kate, thanks again for joining us today. Thanks for a great presentation earlier and uh, look forward to hearing more from uh, Novalia in, in future and as things grow.